and welcome to the Face Break Show. Uh, you, we missed you last week. We weren't here, but we're back this week. We got our Dallas poster, uh, better than ever, full crew. Great. Everybody's Hi. excited. And boy, do we have we have so much goddamn stuff right. to get to today. All right, there's, demonetize. There's right. no way. There's gosh damn stuff. <laughs> there's no way we're going to be able to get to it all. But I, I do want to show it all off. It's Let's so much it. happening today. Let's see. Uh, the very first thing that we always do when we do. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to tease an in, like what we're going to open at the end. Oh, okay. I'm Eric. This is Emily. This is Jeff. And we have a tease for you for the very end of this show. Our names aren't important. What's important is this stuff, right? Uh -huh. uh, I think this episode we're going to open up this, this hefty hit parade autographed basketball. We don't know what it is. Well, we know what it is. It's well, basketball. We, yeah, we know what it is. Gracie didn't know what it was, but we what know what it is. But we don't know what's in it. Right. What could it be? It could be Luka Doncic. It could be wow. Kevin Durant. Who knows? Wow. It, it could be uh, fucking Davis Bertrands. I don't know. Could it be Marcus Smart? Yeah, it could It could be Alfred Payton. It could be Marcus Smart, maybe. It could be Alfred Payton. Uh, we also have, there's so much cool stuff I bought. Look at this. Disney 100. These, this is like some weird, uh, I think this is from Japan. I can't wait to crack into these bad boys. Uh, I want to talk about this in a little bit. Topps Chrome. Okay. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. Two, 2021 Pieces of the Past Historical Edition. Ooh. We could get something from JFK or Babe Ruth or what? Abraham Lincoln. What could you get from hey. JFK? Or MLK. Probably not like... It's not like viscera, if that's what you're wondering. I'm thinking probably just like a, I don't know, a lapel from a jacket or something. Oh, okay. Uh, then some more uh, Mickey Mouse hot box. I went nuts. Got some Mickey, Star Wars Mickey galaxy Mouse hot box. Yeah. Mickey Mouse smokes you out in his car. Yeah, he, he hot boxes you. You ever been to Honda Accord with Mickey Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Goofy's handing me whippets. And then uh, after the uh, after the rip card debacle. I went all in on Allen and Ginter. Wow! So these, these are all opportunities for us to get rip cards. Yeah. Why would you call it a debacle? I think it was a great learning experience. Man, Emily and I have been watching rip card videos on YouTube. Uh -huh. We watched a dude open $1,400 worth of rip cards. Yeah. He got one hit, and that one hit <laughs> was a TikTok comedian. No! An autograph of a TikTok oh, comedian. No. It was one of the sadder things I've seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was pretty brutal. Uh, but the very first thing we like to do is show off the hits from the last episode awesome. and then talk about what they're worth. That's cool. I want to do that with you guys. So uh, remember, these are all, I, I base these off of eBay sold auctions. This not is what from people are selling them for. last time, so not last week. Two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. You go back and watch it. And you Probably the biggest hit we got was this Scottie Pippen Jr. Oh, rookie oh, scripts nice. auto. And that little fucker is not what? on my, here we go, card values. Scottie Pippen Jr., that's about 20 bucks. Scottie Pippen Jr., this little fucker. Then we got these Alice, uh, Alice, Alex and Ginner minis, right? Oh, nice. Like okay. the we got the uh, head uh, high cheese. Okay. We got Whitey Herzog, and then uh, Rocky Mountain it's National like Park. Any fucking sense? Uh, those are going for about two bucks each. We got cheese and rocks. Then we got uh, Italian sub. Yeah. <laughs> get, that yeah. get that bread. Yeah. <laughs> get that bread. Get that bread. Get that bread. One dollar. <laughs> By the way, you know what's supposedly in Allen and Ginner 2023? Is that? Well, I told you guys earlier. There's uh -huh. Falcons in it, and there is a <gasps> Falcon card. I just found out. There's a jet ski card. In there. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. So if we get a jet ski card, we're definitely sending it off. I need it. Uh, to get it graded. Have we talked uh, about the Falcon line that we're doing? Uh, I, th I think we have. Okay. I th maybe not. Mm -mm. Where do we got Falcons? We got Falcon stuff in. We the got works. new Falcons in the works. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah, we in got the works. Falcon stuff in the works. I got Absolutely. something that I was going to show off today that Eric doesn't want me to. So maybe we'll fight about it later. Right. This Vaughn <laughs> Grissom. I want you to. <laughs> <laughs> this Vaughn Grissom rookie uh, B Bowman Chrome. That's a. That's a two. You're not gonna retire from it. That's two dollars, but you're gonna do better than if you got this Martin, Martin Gonzalez Bowman first paper card. That's gonna run you. Uh, that's about a dollar. A uh, dollar. Then we have this Carlos uh, Jorge. Uh, this is a number to one fifty Bowman Chrome first. That is gonna run you twenty dollars. That's about right wow. there with the Scotty Pippen. What's the people rolling around on the ground for? Uh, Mike's just <laughs> rolling around on the ground. Mike heard this episode of Anima. He said, you didn't talk enough about old restaurants. And he started rolling around on the ground. Then uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Division. Uh, that's a cool De Los name. Santos, uh, Bowman first chrome. Just that's to give you an idea, cool. average player, that's a dollar. Uh -huh. uh, here you go. This is a numbered purple Ooh, parallel. All right. That's a dollar. Yeah. And then this Andrew Painter rookie is $2. Cool. Uh, so there you go. Not a whole hell of a lot there. No. No. Uh, those are the hits. Those are the hits. Now we're going to... Open something up from the pack sack. sack Got to go with the pack sack first. 
Okay, every episode. <laughs> I have new sounds oh, this week, so. What is this? What is this? I don't know. This is 1994 Topps Baseball Series 1. 29 Ooh. picture cards. Do you think I'm... these suck? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever opened up 94 cool. Topps before. Oh, nice. I've never seen them packaged like this. Just in a like a gummy bears bag. Yeah, like essentially yeah. it's like a it's a Haribo gummy bear bag. What were you doing in '94? I was in the army. I was in basic training. Cool. Yeah, I was uh, climbing, running through the mud, mm -hmm. dodging bullets. Not really. Oh, uh, there were no bullets to dodge. So these are stuck <laughs> together as fuck. Okay. But uh, if they weren't, this Dion Sanders card would have been nice. Oh, hey. Dion, Dion. There's Alan Prime time Dennis. himself. Wait, he played baseball. Deion Sanders? Yeah. He That's played, what's so special about him. He played him. baseball and football at the same time. And was what? very, very no. good at both. And then now he's coaching. Yeah, now he's coaching. Yeah. He football. also played both sides of the ball when he played football. Yeah. He really? would just yeah, he play would just change his helmet. Yeah. He would be a wide receiver and then he would play cornerback. He was a freak. Wow. That's why when people say Deion Sanders is like one, one or two greatest yeah. athletes of all time, that's what they're talking and, about. And Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson. A, a lot of the sport has changed and we've become very specialized. A lot of these guys could probably do both and uh -huh. no one does anymore, but it was very special to see that and being a kid and even watching it going like, this is incredible. Was that before or after Michael Jordan did it? Didn't he play baseball and basketball? Michael Jordan played he, double A baseball. Same year, 94. Yeah. But it was like, but Deion he never, played like pro, like MLB. Oh yeah. he tr Jordan? No, no, no. Uh, Dion. Dion. Dion was an all star yeah. in oh, baseball yeah. and an all star. For real? Yeah. Yes. yeah. He's like. Good for the break. Wow. Dude, he was incredible. Yeah, Dion Dude, it still is incredible. I thought yeah. that's a good learning thing for me. Yeah. There you go. Dang. Uh, we got There's a reason everyone's paying attention to the buffs right now. Yeah. No one cares about Colorado. They that's lost this week. Yeah. And the week like, before. They did. It was a good game. Yep. It was a good game. Is that the uh, USC game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dave Martinez is stuck with Howard Johnson. <laughs> so uh, those two. Uh, Steve Kersey is stuck with jer these are this is Dude, one that's solid chilling. card. All right. This oh my guys, God. That's Let's, a good wait, card. You, know, you want some you ASMR? Got, got, instead of instead of pulling it, that you gotta yeah, take I'm them all. I'm gonna do it. There you go. Gross. Oh my God. Uh, these are fucked. <laughs> They're all upside down. Let's see what they would have been. Uh, uh, Matt, no, because these go straight in the yep. trash can. This guy's Anthony Young. These are uh, garbage. Future star Eric Helfand. He was not a future no, star. No, he was not. That's the same car we already had. I, I picked it up and put it down. Oh, okay. Uh, Ricky Henderson. Damn. That would have been cool. I don't yeah. remember Ricky Henderson playing for the Blue what? Jays. I was going to say, I don't remember him on the Blue Jays. So these would have been cool cards. There might have even been a tiny bit of value in yeah. some of these, but uh, they are uh, victim, victims of age. Yep. Uh, uh, here you go. Whoever that is, Eric Papal, but that's a gold signature like card. JFK that's some Jr. sort of a... This is neat. Uh, and High then, kick. Uh, all right, these are just, we'll just put these garbage straight cards. in the garbage. Garbage cards! That's why they were they're in the like, sack pack. Can back there. Drip bucket. Drip bucket, there you go. Uh, okay, so that was the pack sack. Now, uh, as you know, we've talked about it recently. Yeah. We got that big Mark McGuire oh, yeah. uh, chase card that we wanted to get, and I talked about how I was going to... Uh, we gonna get send it off it to get it graded. This will be the first time I've ever got anything graded. So I want to talk about the process of what that means. Now, when you submit to PSA, uh -huh. PSA is the by far the number one grader. There's others, BGS, there's SGI. There's like a, mil a bunch popped up in the uh, in the pandemic, and I've already gone mm -hmm. out of business. I would say go with PSA because they're the industry standard. Uh, they want you to PSA submit Snoopy. cards. <laughs> in PSA graded ten Snoopy. There is you it? go. There you go. Yeah. Is it PSA or WCO? No, world that's class. WCO. It's that's one of the bullshit. It's WCO. Wow. It's, it's, wor it's worldclassgrading.com. <laughs> so good, card, good cards go in top letters or one touches. Yep. Uh, PSA wants their cards submitted in card savers. So Ooh, I bought some. I want to show okay. you what they look like. It so, even says right here, the world's number one trading card holder. It's not. But it says <laughs> crystal clear packet used by PSA and major PSA dealers. So this card that you've gotten is the rookie Mark McGuire Olympics card. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And this is a card that you knew about when you were younger. I always wanted it as a kid. And we talked about it when we were opening the pack, and then we got it. Yeah. It was a hit. So now that we have a card happens. that is potentially worth a little bit of scratch yeah. that can pay for weird signed basketballs and a bunch of other things. But Chesky. it can't just be, oh, here's this card. When you get it graded, now there is a professional company that says it is this quality and this yes. caliber, and that will determine the pricing that people could potentially buy at. Exactly. And this card is in pretty good shape, uh -huh. and we're hoping for a good grade. If you got this in a PSA 10, it could be worth about $5,000. Dang. In a PSA 9, you're looking at a couple hundred. Jesus. I think we're going to land somewhere in the couple hundred range. Okay. I looked up on PSA. I think I'm going to submit this via the slow way. It's 20 bucks. 
So uh, the... you put it in this card saver, mm -hmm. put a piece, couple of pieces of cardboard on top of it. PSA asks that you rubber band them together, but not too tightly, and don't yeah. use tape. And then wrap that in bubble tape. And then put it in a in a box, mm -hmm. and then send that to him. So and that's then, what we're gonna do between now and the next uh, episode. And then you'll hear back in how long? I think I get this back in like sixty days. So wow. it used to be a lot faster. Yeah. And then Pokemon cards came back, and now that's the reason that you are waiting months. Yeah. For PSA grading is fucking Charizard. <laughs> you get. Pikachu and Pika Blue, and I, now you have to get a PSA graded Charmander. No way. Yeah, get it's real. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But Ooh, it's a uh, muck card. Yeah, it's trash, is what it is. Now it's going to be interesting because the value, if it ends up grading TSA, PSA ten, they're going to charge me a lot more than twenty dollars. Yeah. They might charge me a couple hundred. Yeah. But that's okay if it's worth that much. We'll find out. I think I, I submitted in the lowest value. I think anything up to five hundred dollars is twenty dollars mm -hmm. to get graded. And then if they tell us it's more, they'll charge me more, and I okay. just have to pay them back. I mean, that's pretty great. You're hoping that, that that's the case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the process. You put it in this card saver. Put some uh, cardboard, stiff cardboard around it, tape that, mm -hmm. or not, I'm sorry, don't tape it, rubber band it, and then put that in bubble wrap and then send it off in a hard box. They want it in a hard box. I will do that, and then in 60 days or so, we'll find out what we get. Yeah. Yay. We'll open cool. it up on this camera. Yep. I won't open Very, it until we get it. Oh, we'll Very reveal so what I'll the learn, grading is? I'll yeah. learn what the grade is with y'all uh, on camera. That's at exciting. What, at what grade do you say this is not worth it and you rip it in half? Oh. One? <laughs> <laughs> then that can be the other it's thing. My childhood, that, right here. Tune into the next episode when we burn it. Yes. One. <laughs> next, I want to open up because uh, I want to talk about Tops Chrome a little bit. Okay. Tops Chrome. Tops every year they do this thing called. We'll just open up these and talk about it. Okay. They do a thing called a buyback program. All right. And what that is is they will give you t uh, an amount of money in credit at any local card shop. Mm -hmm. All local card shops, uh, I think, are a part of this. Uh, what they're trying to buy back this year is. Specifically, Topps Chrome. They want to buy back any MVP cards. So what you do now is you collect all of the Topps Chrome cards of people you think are going to be an MVP. Yeah. Like, who do you think is going to be the MVP this year? AL MVP. Uh, I mean, I would think it's Shohei probably on Shohei. the AL side, I would think. Yeah. So if you get the Topps Chrome Shohei uh -huh. base card, right? I, actually, let me pull the pricing list up. If okay. you get the base Shohei Otani card and mm -hmm. you hold on to it, and then he becomes the MVP. Yeah. Tops will then give you, uh, just for his base card, they will give you, well, where did the fuck, $20 is what it's worth. Okay. I can't find the, the pricing. Uh, but, uh, and up to like, if it's numbered, they'll go up into the hundreds. So if you were to land like a, just a fucking bog standard, like one of these, like if, if well, can't use Roger Clemens yeah. uh, because he's not with us anymore. Uh, here's El Harris Montero. He is with us. He's not with us in I, I understand. Anymore. Avon Rodriguez, same. Let's get oh. it. All right, Josh Donaldson, current player, right? If Josh Donaldson won the MVP, this card would be worth $20 immediately. Okay. Go to your local card shop, give it to them. They'll give you $20 in store yeah. credit. Really? You can I'm, buy whatever. I mean, if it helps, Josh Donaldson uh, might not even be in the league. Sure. Year, so for, no, he probably sure. is not going to win MVP. Sp uh, speaking of MVP, though, here's Doc Gooden. Hey! This is a Quite refractor. That's very really nice. cool. Uh, uh, so there you go. Did I save that? Yeah, let's go ahead and sleeve that. We Doc we can, Gooden. And then if you want to throw the Josh Donaldson card in the trash, that'd be fine too. <laughs> uh, so be on the lookout if you're opening up top, Topps Chrome and if you get any good players. If you get one of those that's numbered and they end up being the MVP, it's yeah. worth even more. You can get a couple hundred bucks. Uh, here we got Dansby Swanson. Nice, that's a great baseball name. Fergie, it, that is great. I think we've, yeah, let's pull it. Okay. I think we have them, but already. Good names. Uh, there we go, Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Famer. Uh, who? Spencer Torkelson, rookie. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and... It's he is a fucking scratch on it. Aw. Right under the name. That's okay. Yeah, these cards can get scratches because yeah. they're kind of... Delicate. Yeah. Uh, Jose Barrios, and then a Wade Boggs, Boss Hog, Wade Boggs. Nice. Uh, refractor as well. No, oh. he's retired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did see a guy wearing a Wade Boggs Tampa uh, Devil Rays jersey yeah. on the uh, stream. Sloppy Joe stream. That'll go up Saturday. By the That's way. why. Did you guys have fun doing that? Yeah, watch the whole two fucking hours of us playing one game of bingo. It was bingo. a tough one. It was a tough one. Hey, if you want to play your own bingo, uh, Sloppy Joe's still bingo available. Box, still on sale. Yeah, this is, this contains a shirt. Mm -hmm. I think fifty bingo cards. Yep. And also three uh, daubers. Face daubers. Yep. That are the the little star. Yep. And uh, it's awesome. 
I want to talk a little bit more about the buyback program. The okay. Tops buyback program is something that everybody knows about. They do it every year. Yeah, we get the and money. It's a, yeah, it's a way to get a little bit of money off some common cards, mm -hmm. or if you get a, a decent hit, a little bit more money. However, 2023 Bowman Chrome. Uh huh. By the way, this is a four hundred dollar box. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. And but it's I, different from Topps Chrome. Think it's I, the this same is, logo. Yeah, Topps owns both, but Bowman oh. is a subsidiary of Topps. Okay. okay. This Bowman Chrome specifically, they have a card in it called a Superfractor. Okay. Now that's what they call a one of one card. You know, we just call it one of one in mm -hmm. in other brands, but Topps calls it a Superfractor. It's supposed to be a one of one. Oh. One of the one of ones got pulled recently. Don't like, way, don't like the one way you said it's supposed to you're gonna, you're, 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 I'm about to, to blow your mind, Eric. One of the one of one, somebody pulled a one of one super factor on a break the other day. I don't remember the player. Uh -huh. But then a couple days later, someone else on a break pulled the same fucking no. super factor of a one of one player. And then it happened one more time. Uh -huh. Tops had to come out and acknowledge and say, we made a mistake. There are nine, I think 90 or so one of ones in this product. What? 90 of them that we, <laughs> so one of that we made two of. There's like 90 different cards right. that, 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 the, that are one of made, ones yeah. that they made two of, they yeah. doubled up on. Okay. So what Tops has done is they're gonna make it up to people and they're going to buy back, uh, if you want to sell, they'll buy back one. Uh -huh. So the first person, like say if you get it and I get it, yeah. we both get a Roger Clemens. If you submit it first and that's good, then I just have the, the yeah. one of one. They will buy back all those one of one cards, or at least one of each, yeah. they, the bounty, the cheapest card they'll buy back, and oh. these are mostly rookies, the cheapest card is $3,000. <laughs> Whoa! The most expensive that I found, because there's 90 cards to look through, the most expensive I found is uh, this guy right here, uh, Sebastian Walcott for the Texas Rangers. They will buy his Superfactor for $35,000. And that's $35,000 store credit? Cash. Oh, okay. This is cash. Ooh. And do you think that this his card cash. will ever be worth that? Like, do you know, who is that? I've never even heard of him. I, th I assume they'll take it and destroy it. I yeah. don't know, because they want but the like, to be one in existence. But like, would you, if, you, if you got the second one and you, held, you were like, I'm going to hold I on don't, to it, I don't it's know not going to ever be worth $30,000. The problem with baseball it, prospects is it's such a speculative thing. Yeah. And it's so hard to kill. Like, if, for, for you to truly understand what's going on there, you have to watch a ton of minor leagues. Yep. You have to read scouting reports. 99.9% .9 of the people that are highly touted like that end up washing out. So you just don't know. So if you were to get that card, I would I would take that money instantly. Yeah. But there's a lot of $10,000 cards. There's a lot of $15,000 cards. I bought this box because I thought that it would have them. I'm not really sure what's in it. I know that there are three autograph cards. Okay. I hope it's not only three autograph cards. Let's do it. But Should we just open it up? Yeah. Probably, but one of these could be in there. It won, this could be a $35,000 card. We're here. about to make $35,000. I'm going to get 70 jet skis. <laughs> two. I, You're going to get two jet skis. I love that they went, we'll pay cash. I wanted them to do credit. I wanted them to do <laughs> $35,000 of baseball card store store credit. It's uh, it's about $500,000 they're willing to put for that to fix this mistake. So okay. good on tops. Okay. Do you think that's cheaper than a lawsuit? <laughs> yes, I think that's probably cheaper than a lawsuit. Uh, and the, the fear is there might only be three autograph cards yeah. in here. <sighs> it, these are non-autograph buybacks. So okay. if it's an autograph card, it can't be a super Let's factor. do it. The only time we're bummed about getting an autograph. So let's open this bad boy up. So how many packs are there in here? This, one. This is this one This is pack. the craziest fucking shit. Three cards. So, well, three cards are autographs. This is more than three cards. So, so I do have it. We do have a shot, I think. I think we have a shot at getting a super factor. Oh, my God. Minimum three thousand dollars if we get one. What the fuck? I gotta All figure right. out how to make money on this. I really want to. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? All right. Ooh, I'm scared. And I'm gonna need somebody to look these up because I don't know the value of this shit off the top of my head. Right. Uh, we have a Yana, uh, Yonatan Her uh, Enriquez on card Bowman first auto. Okay. So if somebody could Google that. What? Uh, <laughs> you got that? <laughs> Chat, let us know. Look it up. You're faster. Yeah. I don't know what I'm looking up. We have a Luis Torres gold Ooh. Bowman first, number to 50. So these are, so these are not super factor. Yeah, we right, didn't get a super right. factor. And then this is number to 499 Spence Ooh. Kaufman from the San Diego Padres. Yeah. Hey. So these are all all three autos. Yep. All three Isn't on it? card. Yeah, he's got, he's got, it looks like he's got like a Batman mask. Oh. He's, yeah. he's uh, like these are back. very, very nice. I'll have to price these out and see yep. what they're worth. Uh, no Superfractor in this. And if you want to get a Superfractor, don't buy this box because it only has auto cards <laughs> and those auto cards can't be. Uh, I'm just going to put them back in okay. there like this for now.
Now, do you know anything about the Padre guy? Uh, it's, uh, I think he's one of our uh, minor league prospects. I, yeah, these would all be prospects. Yeah. Oh. yeah, he's a young, young guy Okay. coming up. So that's not the box we want. No, I could have bought a cheaper box that would have been the box we want, but that's okay because these might be, I mean, honestly, for yeah. $400, if any of those is a hit, it's probably worth yep. more than $400. But maybe next week we can get that box so, if we go maybe. to the store. Yeah, and next week we'll find out what these were worth if nobody in the audience can tell us. Yep. Uh, real quick, like okay. So don't forget, we have a basketball to open at the end of the show. Yeah, we're gonna open the big ass basketball. You want to get in some regular show. packs? What do you want to do? Yeah, let's open a little bit of a little bit of what for? What do we got here? Could it be a Michael Jordan basketball? It, I, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It came with this pack of F1 tops F1 cards <laughs> from International Trading Card Day. It did at the bottom. Gracie was taking it out of the box, and she was like, "Oh, it's, it's a basketball. What's this?" And it's just a pack of cards. <laughs> So we got Nico Hulkenberg. These cool. are obviously F1 cards. Yep. Kevin Magnuson. Uh -huh. Booyah! Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Uh, Yuki Sonoda. Mm -hmm. And Esteban Ocon. Nice. So let's sleeve that Maxi. Number that might one, be worth a couple bucks. Number one with a bullet. Uh, made, the, made racing pretty boring. Yeah. Let's get off the sports for a second. Eric, you gave me these uh, Twilight cards. So these came from uh, one of our producers here, Jillian, who just went to Forks, Washington. Uh, she got these cards, and um, she produces Red Web. You can check out Red Web. She's like, hey, check these out. You guys want to open these? And I said, absolutely. So these are from her. Um, thank you, Jillian, and her friends. Now, is Eclipse one of the movies? I guess. Yeah. What, uh, Second R one? RVB Connor says that Luis Torres Third. is going for $500 at my local shop. There you wow. go. So we made our money back. Hey, hopefully. Hey. Pretty Holy good. shit. I'll get that graded, maybe. Yeah. So this is from the third movie. The sure, third whatever. movie. Yeah. Okay. I only saw if the Jillian first was one. here, she could tell us. There's Bree. There's Bree. There's Bree. Uh, there's Seth Clearwater. Wow. What a fucking Seth. name. There he is. Uh, this doesn't look anything like a bloodbath, but I guess it is. <laughs> is that the dad, Carlisle? Uh, is he a dad? Yeah, they're saying? vampires. They don't age. Oh, so he might be, he might be a dad. Yeah. I think he's yeah. like Edward's. I dad. guess you're stuck at whatever age you were when you got sucked. Well, I think that they make, I think that they like choose their family. I don't think they like oh. blood relatives. Yeah, I just don't they, know. They drink blood. That's true. They do drink blood. Hey, check it out, Jersey Shore. Hey, forks, probably. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's there? Knock knock. <laughs> it's a vampire. You're dead. He's there. And then here's a picture of a vampire with a terrible. Terrible haircut. Oh, that's the like. Hey, the max dueling. buyback price for the Super Fractors is seventy five thousand. Oh, and it's an Ethan Solace card. Ethan, Ethan. Oh, Solace there you go. Is a Padre. Ethan Solace card. There you of go. So you can get as much as seventy five grand back. Dad. Also, yeah. by the way, the Padres fever, baby. You might notice I'm drinking my Coke out of a Anma. Anma mug today. You can see that it's not changing colors because that's a cold soda. Hmm. Hmm. It'll change colors on hot. It changes hot. colors on if, hot. So if you have a hot soda, it wakes up. Put it in there. Nice. Uh, now we have these, Eric, we have Sabotage Wrestling. Sabotage Professional Wrestling is a independent professional wrestling company out of Austin, Texas. That's where we are. Uh, they comped us some tickets to their last show. Me and a couple friends went, had a really good time, and they said, here's some cards. I said, nice. open them. I said, okay. Let's see if I know who any of these people are. Let's see if you do. All right. Uh, first up, we have... After the smoke clears, oh, this is like a promo very cool. For one of their events. Thunder Rosa and Sammy Guevara on the top right and left. Oh, they Sammy are Guevara, from, I yeah, know that. Uh, they're Person. AEW professional wrestlers. Yeah. Very cool. War of the Genders oh, three. War of the Genders is where they do intergen. All of their matches are intergender matches. So the men fight the women, and they are. They just had a show of that, and it was fucking awesome. Dang. Did you so know, good. Eric, that hatred knows no gender? Uh, you know, <laughs> I hadn't considered that. Here we have, hey ladies. Hey, ladies, and they're funky, all you know. uh. women's wrestling show that okay. is very good. Their Hey, Ladies show is probably my favorite show of the year this year. This is our Austin-themed one, clearly. Come yeah. and take it. That is the, uh, that's the venue that it takes place at. If there were a slogan to the city of Austin, it, yeah. it should, it'd should probably be Keep Austin Weird, which yeah. is fucking lame, but it should be Come and Take It. Yeah, hell yeah. If you want to know why we say Come and Take It here, you should read up on the history of it. It's fucking fascinating. <laughs> nice. It makes Austinites look badass. It's fucking cool. Uh, Royal Ground. Nice. This is cool. Uh, they have a, like all the, most of these people are like on TV. They all look like movie posters. Yeah, they are, oh, yeah. They have, they're, they're like, all, like video editing, all of their like photo editing, all this stuff, their graphic design is like top notch. Yeah, this, this is, is like high quality. Speaking of stuff. top notch, if you're ever in Austin, get a burger at top notch. Mm. It's the best, yep. char grilled burgers, best mm -hmm. burgers in town. Yeah. Vendetta, that was way back on August 31st. Hell yeah. Does anybody remember November 16th, 2019? Where were you? I was after the smoke 
clears too. Hell yeah. Unless it's after the smoke two clears. Mm, no, I think it's after the smoke clears two. You remember War of the Genders? Three, how about War of the Genders? Four. Four, Dang. baby. There's even more. Yeah. yeah, there are. They keep doing then, it. Then uh, the fire burns again. Yep. And then I think the reason that we did it was for the thrill of it all. There you go. Aww, they have a go. show coming up pretty soon uh, down in, I think it's it, the Pinball's Kingdom in Buda. Oh, that's yeah. cool. It's a cool little venue. Uh, next, we got Fleer 91 Football. And let me tell it. you about, a little bit about these cards. These were given to me by my wonderful daughter. Oh, nice. She found them Is that right? A, yeah, she was shopping the other day at a, I don't know, like a clothing store or something. Cool. And uh, they had them, so she picked them up for me. Uh oh. So we got John Grimsley from the Miami Dolphins. This is when they had big shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Brown, Jeff Bostick. I've never seen these cards before. Mm -mm. Oh, here you go, Ricky Waters. Uh, I is that a college card? Guess you should. Yeah, it's Notre Dame. I guess you should sleeve that. Just in case. who's he? Ricky Waters, who's an NFL player. That's well, a rookie card. Oh really? He was oh, okay. He played he football. Was a, he was he's a good. running back. Don Beebe. Ray Childress, back in the now defunct Houston Oilers. Mm. Ooh, all time great Marcus Allen for the Raiders. Lewis Billups for the Bengals. Boy, what a fall from grace yep. the Bengals have had this yep. season. Steve Atwater, fantastic player. Uh, Steve DeBerg, not as woman as Steve Atwater. Gary Anderson with the. Nice little boot there. Little, little, little uh, kick, little, little kicky foot. Little yep. kicky foot. Uh, Marion Butts. Nice. That, nice. That, that, I was a big yeah, body big, part. I was a big Marion Butts fan. Were you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you yeah, ever have yeah, a Yeah, because I was a kid and his name was Marion Butts. Butts. Yeah. Brian Blades. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, too. And then Neil Anderson was Bears running back. There you go. Thank you, Millicent. She got me a few more of those, too, so we'll open them at some point. Now, I wanted to open this last week, but I kind of wanted to wait for Eric to come back. So here we what? are. Here's the limited edition. I got one pack of these. What, are you hoping Rocco's in here or what? Yeah, YouTube, <laughs> I guarantee you nobody from Rooster Teeth will be in here. But let's find out from the YouTube Shorts Trading Creator Trading Cards. Let's Bonus do it. card inside. Great. What year is this? This is from Not For Sale. Well, I'm not going to say This it. is from Not For Sale. Does YouTube Shorts uh, still It doesn't exist? even fucking say. It could be... Uh, oh, there's a bunch of creators I've never heard of. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. I mean, that sounds, that was pretty much what I was anticipating here. Yeah. All right. Let's open this bad boy up and see who we got. I'm hoping for a Mr. Beast, personally. Wow. Uh, Caitlin Christine. Wow. wow. Let me know if you know any of these people. Kevin <laughs> Lang, you. You got it, wow. man. I'll let you know. Then, uh, oh, here's a YouTube sticker. Ooh, you put that on your, I don't know. Yeah, I could. Then? Oh, here we go, Squirmy and Grubs. Everybody loves Squirmy and Grubs. Squirmy and Grubs. Great. Oh, I recognize that guy. And then, uh, oh, we got a parallel of Kevin Langu. Oh, okay. wow, dude, this, we might be, it. this might be a Kevin Langu show. Sleeve Just it. all these, why not? Uh, what do we do next? What do we he do has 285,000 subs. His favorite food is mint chocolate ice cream. That, I think Mega64 has more than that, I'm just saying. Uh, let's see who has some Get Sean on the card. Get Garrett on one of these cards now. This girl, Caitlin Christine, uh -huh. has 253,000 subs, and her favorite food is cinnamon buns. I do like a cinnamon bun. Her biggest oh, weakness is buying new costumes. Uh, oh, uh, oh, God. Superpower, shape shifting. That's okay. <laughs> that is a good superpower to have. Oh my gosh, this. <laughs> the, these people. Yeah. The squirmy and uh, grubs. grubs. They're uh -huh. a married couple. Uh -huh. And uh, her biggest weakness is making phone calls. His biggest weakness, legs. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. Funny. Yeah, funny. That's pretty funny. Uh, next what we, we do at? Select 23 uh, NBA Wool. This is going to be the Pack Sack Pack, because as yeah. you know, when you open up cards, you have to feed the Pack Sack. Speaking of the Pack Sack, it's getting pretty full, and somebody know, somebody mentioned the other day, hey, the Pack Sack's looking pretty full. You should have a Pack Sack only yeah. episode where you just clear it out. That's a great idea. So I think we'll do that sometime yeah. in the near future. In the meantime, we're going to open up these. Clearly here, we're looking for... Drew Holiday. Fucking no. Uh, let's see who we get. Tyrese Halliburton. SGA, look at that card. Mm -hmm. Nice quality control panini. Look at that scratch mm -hmm. right there from his hand down. Check this out, trash. That <laughs> means that's worthless. Okay. Trash. Uh, trash. Oh, I'll leave it there. Jaden Ivy rookie base, and then Joel Embiid orange shock prism. Mm -hmm. Is that what they call it? 
There you go. Didn't he link. tweet this week about the off season or something? He yeah, he said it was really entertaining. Yeah, and, but then he said LMAO. LMAO, <laughs> yeah. If you haven't been, if you're not an NBA fan, it has been a very entertaining. It's week. been a good time. It's been a really good time. Bad, bad week, bad off season. If you're a Miami Heat fan, dude. Or a Celtics fan. Good if you're a Celtics fan. Yeah, they, you like I mean, everybody they've gotten rid of. No, I love everybody they got rid of. Yeah. Uh, but I understand the reason for getting rid of them, and I think the team is constructed better. Adding with Drew, Holiday Drew Holiday is really something. Yeah. stays If he stays healthy into the playoffs, that's a difference maker. There are th two other – like, there are two people I think that they could replace Marcus Smart with mm -hmm. and get the same eff effect out of. Drew Holiday – who is arguably as good, if not, but everybody's going to say better, but I'm yeah. a smart, I'm, I'm, I'm a member of the smart. You get it. Hive. Or Desmond Bain. Mm. Those are the only two players in the NBA that I think that play the game Marcus Smart plays as well as he plays it. And so I'm happy that if we were going to lose him, we get uh, a very, I assume, pissed off Drew Holiday who only wanted oh, to yeah. retire in he Milwaukee. Wanted, he wanted to stay. And really? did, did not want to go. He's the second best player on that fucking team. Yeah. And so uh, then yes. dumping him to get, yeah, was to get Damian Lillard. I'm hoping now... Uh, we get a Drew Holiday with a chip on his shoulder yeah. who wants to show Milwaukee they made a huge fucking mistake. Well, he's in a David contract Miller. year too, right? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So Blake Wesley, base rookie, RJ Barrett. Uh, love that dude. LaMelo Ball. What is it? What is it? See. Uh, yeah, like, see. Yeah, that's cool. what he's doing. Jimmy Butler, who also, uh, oh. what a character that Jimmy Butler is. If you didn't see, today is uh, <laughs> media day for yep. the NBA where they roll out the new teams, and Jimmy Butler always does a fun haircut for it. Ooh. He did emo Jimmy Butler today. Oh, and he got my his God. hair straightened and, like, kind of no like, way. yeah, yeah. It's pretty It's good. really <laughs> funny. This is, a, this is a prism. He's, so. I like him, even you, though it's always an issue at yeah. the playoffs. But. I hate playing against Jimmy Butler because I'm a Celtics fan, but Jimmy Butler is a goddamn treasure. <laughs> Stop <laughs> that's, it. That's how he showed up for media Jimmy day Butler. Today. That's a wig. Fucking, no, oh. he had his hair straightened. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, Jimmy Butler fucking rules. Jimmy Butler does not screw around. When he does um, something, he does it. Yeah. I like him. You got to love Jimmy Butler. You just wish he didn't play on the Heat. <laughs> Would he have fit well on the Celtics or no? He'd fit well anywhere. Mm -hmm. Although he didn't in Philly for some reason, which is weird. Philly's a whole other. But don't, Philly's got I mean, other, what do you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. It, it, he's not trusting. Not, he's not, not trusting the fault. process. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Oche, base rookie. Oh, here we go, Jalen Brown, base. As okay. always, we collect and sleeve Celtics. Yep. Uh, Ty Ty Washington Jr. I believe he's a junior. Yeah. I like that. Uh, name. Base rookie, and then uh, here we go, Luca by the numbers. Typically, I sleeve all Luca cards, but this is kind of a lame uh, yeah. insert, so I don't think we'll bother with it. Ooh. Um. Somebody in the chat maybe had a good idea. What's that? I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, <laughs> they said, what if we do the Pack Sack episode and we do it, if we do Extra Life. Oh. If it's an Extra Life, we that go through, we're, we're draining the sack. Drain the sack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll drain the sack at Extra that Life. That's a great like idea. A Dr. Pimple Popper type thing. Ew. I yeah. know, that's gross. Like draining a sack. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, that's cool, though. I try to watch pimple popping videos once every six months to see I if can't. it's like my thing, and then it's not my thing Just... every time, and I go, <laughs> nope. I could watch me. like an autopsy and yeah. be fine, but like that, like, bleh. I think I have a new, I think I have a new yeah. collection for us Ooh. based on this card right here, okay? Here we have AJ Griffin base rookie card showing us what appears to be his O face. <gasps> Uh, okay. <laughs> so let's leave that. Collection Suggs. Uh, Jalen Suggs. I like Suggs as a last yeah. name. Yeah, Suggs. It's fun to say. Uh, Tyler Hero, once again, most punchable face in the NBA. God, I hate him. He was him. being a little bitch today. <laughs> no. Oh, bitch, baby. And, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, Dame Dalla right there. Damian Lillard. Got That's that weird. That's the wrong jersey. Orange Shock Prism. Yeah, he's wearing a... Yeah, he's wearing the wrong jersey. Interesting. Uh, he's <laughs> uh, obviously clearly the Milwaukee Buck, Damian Lillard. We'll sleep that. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be the worst. That's gonna be the most terrifying pick and roll in all of basketball. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be. What brutal. do you? What do you do? What do you do? You I, like? You just try to weather the storm you try until to, they don't play all the minutes. You try to outscore them. Yeah, yeah. that's that's, that's essentially all you can do. Ah, yeah. oh, this is a little heartbreaking. Uh, I don't like the way it ended because uh -huh. like, there's clearly bad blood. Malcolm Brogdon, former rookie of the oh, year, yeah. former sixth man of the year in yeah. the one year he was a Boston Celtic. We obviously dealt him to Portland. Uh huh. Uh, in the see, Drew, uh, whole Drew Holiday thing. Is he healthy? Uh, supposedly, he's coming back healthy. Uh -huh. uh, he showed up in some trade rumors, and apparently uh, that ruined, that soured his time with the Celtics, and he was like, get me the fuck out of here. Wow. Which really sucks, because wow. he's a great guy, 
phenomenal teammate from everything I've heard yeah. and a really, really good player. The rub on him is that if he plays more than 22, yeah. 25 minutes a game, he will break down. Yeah. He's just made of glass. Same. One of those dudes that just, yes. Yeah, I get it. If That's I why 20, I don't play 40 minutes a game. I, if yeah. I play 25 minutes, I'm toast. Yeah, I'm yeah. on a minutes restriction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Their restriction is zero. Yeah. <laughs> Usman Dang, rookie, Julius Randle. It's going to be interesting to see how good the Knicks are this year. And then we have a... Uh, Prism, Pascal Siakam. We'll go ahead and sleeve that. Pascal Siakam got into it a little bit with uh, Masai uh, Uraji, the uh, oh, general that. manager today, because Masai said the team was selfish, played selfish last year, and he said, I never play selfish. How dare you? Uh, cool. So that's Starting out thing. good. Yep. Yeah, they're off to a good start. The, uh, Don't Toronto forget we're opening this, this basketball. Yeah, we're going to open that in about 20 minutes. Oh, we have... I'm excited for the basketball. Let's open up. Ooh, I know exactly what we can open up. Everybody, ooh, why is there a auto? Okay. Everybody loves Dallas. Yay! It's the 40 year old show that's taking the nation by storm. Bobby, currently I'm in the, towards the end of season six, and Bobby and Pamela are on the outs. Pamela's living in a hotel. She wants nothing to do with Bobby because he and JR are in this fight. And they're, when Jock died, he put in his will that JR and Bobby have to, I gotta get a better view. They have one year. They have one year, they get 50% of the company each, and then they have to prove like whether or not they can, like, or how much money they can make. And at the end of it, they, whoever gets it gets 1% extra and has control of you and Whoever makes the most money. So this so is they're... from earlier seasons when things are a little bit better. <laughs> so all of that has nothing to do with what we're about to Although, see. Although, what's that here on Sue Allen? That's that season two, so I think. So that's Cliff that Pamela? Bar that's Pamela. That's, that's uh, Cliff Barnes and, and his sister Pamela. Mm -hmm. Pamela Ewing, you were just talking about. Yeah, she's uh, married to Bobby. Cliff is the one who is always a day late and a dollar short. I don't fucking like Cliff. He's a user. He's, I don't like him at all. He did. He he was like the good guy who always tried to do good, and then it's just like he's he he got greedy. He got he he's like he's like Anakin Skywalker. He got poisoned by the dark side. Yeah. And you watch a good dude turn turn to shit. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, card number two. There we go. That's Miss Ellie. That's Miss Ellie. That's Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen, Justice Four in the back, and then there's Jr. There's Jr. Yeah, I think that that might be at the trial that Jock was on or something. When you guys are done with this, are you watching Dynasty? No, I maybe. Think, maybe. Well, we're gonna watch Columbo, but then oh, okay. yeah. I'm interested in trying that. Dynasty, I found it's the same show, just in Colorado. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the only difference. They're even oil people. So yeah. I asked. Wild. Yeah. Uh, here we have Ray Krebs and uh, Jock. Now Ray, it turns out, is uh, Jock's illegitimate son. We oh. find that out in season three, I believe. He's wow. been on. He's been the ranch hand. Ray is the one who would sleep with Lucy, and it's because Lucy didn't want to go to school, so she could like seduce Ray to like, don't take me to school. I'll sleep with you. And she was underage. Problematic. Different time. Different time. And they turned out to be related. And then they turned out to be like half. Cause uncle. Yeah, so, and then but the, they, the show just dropped that. The show they don't. They don't ever mention it again. They're like, that was a season one problem, and this, then that's Jack, and he's dead now. He died in a plane crash or in a helicopter crash because he was teaching the people in South America about drilling oil. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, what really happened is he got a brain cancer and died. Yeah, it was really yeah, between sad. Between seasons, yeah. Uh, there is a uh, Pamela. <gasps> There's Pamela. There's the season that she ruined her hair. Ugh, it's fine in this photo, but it was real dramatic. She had such beautiful hair before, and then she permed that. Ugh. That's the 80s, baby. Here we have Bobby and JR doing work. Mm -hmm. That's there's the a old photo, office. There's a photo of Sue Ellen, and uh, he cheats on her in front of that photo, like a little piece of shit. Yeah, and Sue Ellen was 1967 Miss Texas, too. Yes, wow. That's how she got him. That's true. Uh, here's a cool po uh, picture of Bobby. Bobby, he's, he's still boy's a, sexy. He's still a bitch, though. He's he is such a bitch. A, he's turning he's into a bitch. He's such a bitch. And then there is uh, there's Miss, Miss Ellie. Ellie again. She's the hero looking shot. away. Mm. Jacques, I love South Fork. Yeah, that's what she says. And she has that uh, couldn't be couldn't be considered Southern accent, but somehow yeah. she's grew up in I need to, that transatlantic accent. Mm -hmm. Somehow she grew up her entire life in Dallas. The back of it makes a poster, so Ooh. I need to gather all of our cards. Yeah, we'll try to put the poster yeah. together, and we yeah. do. We'll frame it on the wall. Yeah. Great. So you know. Uh, how about some fucking NBA? Ooh. Let's do a little bit of getting. I'm excited. If you don't, if you're not a big NBA. Or a sports fan, then you might not know that uh, the NBA season technically starts today. Today's media day, and then the preseason games will start rolling out. Yep. And then I think the Celtics opening game is the 22nd, maybe? But these are 21-22, so last year's okay, cool. Panini Optic. Who are we looking for the most last year? Uh, we'd probably be looking for Scotty Barnes or... Cade. 
No, that wouldn't be the Cade year. It'd be Scotty Barnes or um, Evan Mobley, probably. Um, Matisse Tybel, base. Uh, Jalen Suggs, rookie. That was his rookie year. He kind of is a dud, but we'll sleeve it anyway. Yeah, but it's Bam good. Adebayo, Miles McBride. <laughs> he's like, Damn, this is my little ball. <laughs> and he's like, that's my little baseball <laughs> or little basketball. <laughs> Let's leave that. Zach Levine. He's shy, boy. Mm -hmm. Kelly Olynyk. Uh, we know him as Maple Dick. Why? That's what they call him. He's from Canada. Uh, <laughs> he played for the Celtics for six years. Great. We drafted him, I think. Uh, R.J. Barrett. Mm -hmm. Brian Forbes. I don't even know if he's in the NBA still. Uh, here we got a Kawhi, 75 years of the NBA. There you go. Happy 75th anniversary, Kawhi. Trae That's crazy that he's played that long. It's nuts, and he's made a glass. Trey <laughs> Young, my house. Apparently, it's his house. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, I don't know what the name of the parallel is, but it's the Czech Republic. It's pretty pretty. It's I like cool. that. Jonas is a good player. He would have been. He would have been a lot more effective in the NBA 15 years ago. Ben Simmons. Uh, when would he have been effective in the NBA? Uh, before he lost his mind. <laughs> Do you think he is? He still struggling. Oh. Yeah, well, we'll see. This is the year we find out. This is here the we go. year we find out. Now that's a here we got the hit. Scotty Barnes. Scotty Woo! Barnes. Uh, now Scotty fell off a little bit in year two, but he's yep. hopefully going to have a return to form in year three. Year three is usually when players make their big leap. So let's hope Scotty makes a leap, and then this card could be worth I don't know, fifty hundred bucks. Nice. Essentially, not right now though. Who does he, he play gotta, for? Uh, he plays for the Toronto Raptors, the team that played selfish basketball last is year. Is that who our Grady Dick plays for? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Raptors yeah, fans. So. Ben Simmons, grateful to be healthy, wants to be Nets point guard and leader. He wants to be the leader of that team. Who else would be the leader? Of that team? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Cam Thomas? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Don't have a lot of so maybe he's the leader because no one else is. I, Everyone I, else left. I just don't know if Ben Simmons is the guy that you, uh, who, after the last few years, you put all your trust in the, on his Or any, any. He's any. really good at passing the ball. He's he's he's, a, he's really good at passing the buck. He too. doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't want it. <laughs> He says, no, you take hey, a shot. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what if we open up a little... Is it raining at Sloppy Joe's? <gasps> it is. Oh, it is. It's raining at Sloppy Joe's. And everyone's looking. Oh, there's a woman yeah. who just blue kisses at the camera. Hi, acknowledging the camera. Hi. We're going to open up two packs of okay. season six Game of Thrones. Oh, the best season? All right. <laughs> See what we have in here. As these, we're always looking for... Uh, uh, who was it we wanted a Hodor on? Yeah, we got Ho we want Hodor on card auto. Yeah, cracked ice parallel. Uh, Nymeria Sand. Oh. Here we have Lily. Here we have <laughs> Lady Crane. Oh, uh, all my favorite season six characters. Got the foil, Jacquin Hagar. Oh, the face guy, faceless man, or whatever the fuck they call it. I read all these books and I don't remember any of this. Uh, Sir Jamie Lannister. Well, I don't think they old, got this far in the books. Old one-hander. Yeah. And then uh, uh, one of the Sand Sisters, the Snake Sisters. Uh, okay, we'll open up one more pack. Still hoping for that auto. Jeff saw a cool snake today, like a cool snake on like a wall, and then told me that if he liked snakes, that would be like the snake he would get. But, but I like, but don't like snakes, snakes so yeah. I couldn't lick it. When you read the books, did you pronounce any of the names correctly in your head? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm real smart. Damn. Uh, Lord Varys, he's the one with all the little sparrows. Oh, we got a we got a fucking Hodor green parallel though. Wow, that's pretty cool. We'll sleeve that just because we love Hodor. <laughs> we'll sleeve that. Bran Stark, uh, eh? Cool. Uh, Everyone's favorite character, King of the North. Mira yeah. Reed. Cool. Uh, blood of my blood. That's uh. Samuel Tully, it looks like, looking at his dad's That's, sword. Yeah, he's looking oh, at his dad's sword, nice. and then he's he going to, like, nice. take it, and oh. et, cetera, et cetera, And there's the same card, but a foil. Oh. <laughs> cool. Oh, and, yeah, that's it. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's play a little game now. Okay. Eric, I, Emily and I have conceived of a new game we want to play with you. This game is called Common Thread. Common Thread? find a bunch of cards. In this case, it's all basketball, but it could be all okay. sports. It could be non-sports. It could be a mixture of stuff. And we try to, we look at these cards, uh -huh. and we want you to figure out how these players okay. relate to each other. Oh, interesting. All right, so could gonna, be anything. I'm going to throw these out here. Let's do it. And then we'll see what you think. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to start with, I don't know. because I don't know who he is, uh, I've never talked to him, I've never heard of him before. I don't think he's in the NBA anymore. Rashid McCants. Okay. Okay. There's gonna be 10 cards. Okay. And they all have a common thread. Okay. All right. Rick Fox. Okay. Uh Rick Fox, famous dude, played famously for a lot of teams, played for the Lakers. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, businessman as well. I don't want to get into because that might be what it's about. So Isn't I don't he? Wanna, uh, uh, Tristan Thompson. Everybody knows him. He's had a well. He's been in the media a lot. To the Celtics. Uh, that is him as a Celtic. Yeah, he mm -hmm. briefly played for the Celtics. Uh, here's Devin Booker, okay. uh, one of the best shooters in the NBA. Then we have Jordan Clarkson, who I think I'm the only person that doesn't like. Never been a fan. <laughs> Here we have Blake Griffin in a Toposphere uh, parallel. That's a okay. really or insert. That's a really nice card. Really nice insert. Then we have, speaking of the devil, Ben Simmons. That's his base rookie card. There he is. That used to be worth something. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Someday again, maybe. <laughs> then we have Lamar Odom. Oh. Uh, famous for a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of things. So it could be any of those things. <laughs> Uh, then we have James Harden, okay. uh, also famous for a lot of things. And then we have finally uh, Chris Humphreys. That is, his, I got his on-card auto because it was $2. What do these 10 players have in common? I'll read them off for you. Ben Simmons, Jordan Clarkson, Devin Booker, an audience I want you to play along in the chat, but don't, Eric, I don't want you to look at the okay. chat. I don't want it to be spoiled. You got Rashad it. McCants, Lamar Odom, the great Blake Griffin, the great Tristan Thompson, Rick Fox, James Harden, and Chris Humphreys. What is the common thread between these 10 players? Have they all appeared on Keeping Up with the Kardashians? I don't know if no. they've all appeared on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, no. but they're, is that your common thread? That, that is what my guess for common thread would be. Is it Kardashian related? It's it. Yes. Okay. Are we doing 20 questions with this? Or well, is it just know. like no, you're I mean, making I had, a guess? I had my what, guess. What, it, potentially, what, what, what would that be? Um, they all dated Kardashians? These men have all dated That's Kardashians. The, so the Rick Fox one made me think that it was going to be an eSports thing. Yeah. I, That's I'm what like, I was hoping I'm, for. I'm like, okay, we're, we're going in that direction. What really got it was Odom and then Humphreys. Yeah. I don't remember Ben Simmons dating any of the Kardashians. That's very, very funny to me. So here's but what yes, we they have. they have all appeared on the Kardashians. <laughs> no, hey, 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 hey. Uh, Here's what we have. Lamar Odom dated Chloe, obviously. Was yeah, married, married, to to married, married to Chloe. James Harden dated Chloe. Chris yes. Humphreys was married to Kim. Uh -huh. Tristan Thompson dated was married to Chloe. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have two kids together now? Tristan Thompson. She has yeah. two kids. One yeah. of them is named Tatum. Oh, yeah, that's right. Which is interesting because he was playing for the Celtics when that happened. Uh -huh. uh, he cheated on her right before both births. With too. a lady from Texas. Yep. Uh, that's our connection here, Texas. Devin Booker dated Kendall. Uh, kind of famously, that was kind of a big one. I didn't know Rick Fox and Chloe dated. That was a long time ago. Kendall briefly dated Blake Griffin. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Before you keep going, Rick Fox and who? Ken or Chloe? Chloe. Yeah, it was what one of the their first. People. What's their age gap? Chloe's like our age. She's in her forties. No. Is Chloe's it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought no. Chloe. I thought Chloe was in her. Kim's in her forties. How Chloe's old is Rick Fox? Uh, Kardashian age. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to look up Rick Fox age. You look up Rick. Uh, you do that. I'll I do don't this. think they're. Uh, am, am I wrong? <laughs> Rick Fox is 54 years old. Okay. Okay. And Chloe is what 38. I'm going to guess. 39. Wow. So close so, yeah. enough. That is a. That's 15 uh, years. 15 years. I yep. mean, it just, that's not in who Hollywood? I would. Yeah. Right, but that's not who I, like, if you're like all the Kardashians, Rick Fox isn't who I would have been like in, with Chloe. Right. I would have thought like, oh, he dated Chris, Chris for a minute. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would have thought Chris as well, but uh, apparently not. Uh, Blake Griffin dated Kendall. We said yeah. that. Ben Simmons dated Kendall. Jordan yeah. Clarkson dated Kendall, which is interesting because I thought Kendall was, uh, Ben is by Coastal, right? I don't know. But, okay, we don't know that. She's with Bad Bunny uh, right now. And then, oh, that's right. She's with Bad Bunny. I'm not happy for them. And then Rashad McCants uh, dated Chloe. I think he was the first NBA player she dated. Wow. So there you go. That's the common thread. And wow. so, Eric, every few weeks when we have one, we'll bring these, we'll submit them to you, and then you and the audience can play along. Have you dated you a Kardashian? Pull wow. The common thread. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to put that together. Yep. And Emily and I have, Emily actually has a lot of really good ideas for where that's we can great. take this. So. Gracie, did you like the common thread? Thank you. Great, great. Gracie great. loved it. Good. That makes me happy. Yeah. So now we're down to 11 minutes left. What Almost we, basketball time. What if we broke open one of these boxes of Allen and Ginter? Let's do it. And see if we can get let's a do Falcon. 2023. Let's see if we can get a Falcon. Or a Topper. Let's see if we can get a, we're desperate a to, re topper to replace our break, uh, our rip card. Or maybe we'll get lucky and get a jet ski. Yes. That would be good too. And then a basketball. Yeah. And then we'll open up the basketball. And then you'll have to come back next week and we'll open up one of these other fantastic boxes. You got a lot going on. There's a lot, a lot going, going on in the break show, baby. A lot going on. We're really trying to grow this break show.
Well, you got to talk about it on any of your other productions. That'd be nice. I, I pitched, I, I pumped it today in Anima. You did a good job. Nice, did. nice, 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 nice. Ooh. There's our rip card, and then we'll do this, and then let's put one of these bad boys. I like to touch it to see if I could feel if it's like. We'll put one of these. Would it be thicker than the other ones? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think that's we'll put one of these bad it. boys in the. <laughs> oh, interesting thing I learned about Alan and Ginter. Yeah. Uh, that I did not know. Mm -hmm. uh, I've obviously been collecting them for a long time. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Let's just open this fucker up and see what that's it is. What I'm talking about. Uh, Alan and Ginter has a thing that I don't think any other uh, brand has. They have in one. Oh. <gasps> is it a rip card? No. Oh. One out of every. Uh, one box out of every case is called a hot box. Uh -huh. And that hot box, every pack. Not the pack, Disney hot box. Oh, okay. right, right. Not right. a Disney I was going to say, I it's not a Mickey Mouse drug I was confused. Thing. I got it. It's uh, every card in the box is foil. Like, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. You get a whole, a whole foil box. Yep. I didn't know they did that. So this is Clayton Kershaw. Oversized Kershaw uh, worth anything or no? Probably going to be retiring here, it sounds like, this season. No, he'll, I don't, he'll play one more. I think this might be a parallel of some kind because I've never seen them come in red like this. I'll mm. have to look into that. You uh, really don't think he's going to go one more season? You think he's done? They made the playoffs. They won 100 games, and you think he's going, eh, that's it. I think after. I think he's going to win a championship this year and then retire. Uh, I mean, they're not going to win Will the championship, sleep, so... Yeah. I guess Who's gonna to beat him? More. Oh, probably the Astros. Yeah. Um, Fucking Astros. Man. Yeah. Uh, but you know who is probably retiring? I mean, Mickey Miguel Cabrera is retiring. Yeah. This is he played the last game. I got. He hasn't confirmed it, but Zach Greinke. Really? Yeah. You know, this was his last. Uh, this is his last hurrah. You sad about that? Yeah. I love a weirdo baseball. Not enough weirdos in baseball. Zach Greinke, classic weirdo. Uh, we just got a fucking hit. <gasps> really? Did? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, let's get through this. Uh, it's a First card, Eloy Jimenez. All right. Second card, uh, Victor Wembanyama. Okay. Hey, Wemby. That's. That might be worth something. I don't know how much that's worth. Can we look that up? Uh, Victor Wembanyama, base, Allen and Ginter. Let's go ahead and sleeve that. It's probably worth twenty or thirty dollars though. Uh, here we have Yover Piguero. We'll sleeve that. Uh, oh, and we got old Bentliff. Let's find out who the fuck that is. Jim Bentliff. <laughs> oh, this is the mud dude. Okay. Jim Bitliff is the guy that provides all the mud that they use oh, to yeah. stuff up baseball. I read a New York Times article about yeah, him. Yeah, there you he, go. He knows where it's a secret spot. Uh, yeah, he's the uh, only person in the world. It's base? Dude, I got to yeah, see. Base. I see 20 on eBay. 20 bucks. That's not bad for... I'll, I should probably sell that because it won't maintain that value. <laughs> uh, we got a base rookie, Nolan Gorman. Sleeve that. Cool. We got a base rookie for Garrett Mitchell. Go ahead and sleeve that. Ooh, our mini card is... Uh, historic, the Lancy Aw Meadows National Historic Park in Canada. The fuck are these cards? We Sleep still, up. I still don't know why you Ooh. don't have a card. Here's Eloy Jimenez. We got a loot. It's music to your ears. Hey. There you go. Let's sleep the loot. I love them. I love the weird stuff. We need to talk to Alan or Ginter. Yeah, get them talking. And get. Yeah. Jeffy a card. Yeah. I don't see nice. why he does. Why does the TikTok guy have a? I mean, because he's what is the mud guy? Christian Yellick. Mud guy. Uh, why does a loot have Yelich. it and not you? Uh, Alec Manoa showing okay. off his yep. fucking arm tattoo. That's my name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't forget. Uh, that was a. Uh, <laughs> I saw Pete, Pete Davidson was on Howard Stern once. Uh -huh. And Howard was interviewing about his time in SNL and the tattoos and stuff. And he's like, you got all these tattoos. Doesn't that fuck up ske sketches and stuff? What a, was Lauren okay with that? And he goes, Lauren actually talked to me one day about it. And he said, uh, he said, uh, so you've got a wolf on your arm. Are you afraid you'll forget what a wolf looks like? <laughs> and that's fucking awesome. Uh, DL Hall, base rookie, we'll sleeve that. Ooh, isn't this one of those? My, does anybody know who Miles Montplaisir is? He is a content creator and... Podcaster from Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, it's Dakota. that guy. You know he that does, dude? Yeah, he does like the. Uh, he's like a Midwest guy. That's his, <laughs> that's all. I mean, Sweet. honestly, if you saw any of his content, yeah, I, I fucking nailed it. <laughs> you betcha has added. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Matt Chapman base. Are these? Okay. Yeah. Then we have a ooh fucking. It's one of the coolest dudes in the history of baseball. Ichiro. Yeah, hey, all right. Suzuki for some well, reason no, with Miami, with Miami, and not uh, Minnesota, or not. I'm sorry, Minnesota, uh, Seattle, Seattle. Uh, or the Yankees for some reason. Here we have Dontrell Willis. Okay, that's nice. We'll sleeve that. That's maybe. an old school Marlin. And then we have a Clayton Kershaw, 400 or 41.2 consecutive scoreless innings. Oh, that's cool. Same as that guy, the big guy. Yeah, same as that's the, the same big dude. Guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. same as the big guy. Same as the big guy. 
We got about six minutes left. All right, so let's open up this one pack and then we'll crack into this basketball. That'll be that'll be a day. We'll call it a day. I like it. Good day. We got we'll a get five hundred dollar rookie auto. We'll have yeah. to look into. Yeah. We will we'll get into more fan mail. We'll get into more of our other stuff. We just got excited about the amount of things that we have here. Yeah, and we so. because we waited a week and I, I buy yeah. stuff every week. I just uh -huh. wanted to show it all off. So yep. we'll definitely get back to fan mail next week. First car, Crystal Reed. She's an actress. Do you know what Crystal's been in? Mm -mm. I don't. What does it Let's say on the back see. of the card, maybe? Uh, she, her breakout came in 2011 with her portrayal of Allison Argent in the MTV series Teen Wolf, <laughs> a role that earned her multiple nominations at the Teen Choice Awards. Born and raised in Detroit, woo -woo, that's us, uh, Crystal studied dance as a youngster before becoming active in local community theaters. She's appeared in eight films with the latest Teen Wolf, the movie, released on Paramount January 2023. I'm going to get nice. Paramount Plus to watch her in Teen Wolf, the movie. Teen the movie. Wolf is not the property from my childhood I thought would get rebooted as a serious thing. It is like, it's like Twilight. Yeah. It's like, they just, yeah. they just made it Twilight. They just made it Twilight. I don't, why, I think, why Teen Wolf? Why not? I think it's just the name. I yeah. think, I think they went, this is a show that kids will easily know. This is about teens and wolves. <laughs> uh, we got Drew Waters, base rookie. We'll sleeve that. Can you sleeve these two? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. And then we have Mark Ventos. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying thank you. I know. Uh, oh, this is a fucking great one. <laughs> uh, this is good, too. Anthony Richardson, football card. I think yeah. that these are worth a little bit. Let's sleeve this. I'll look it okay. up. Uh, speaking of uh, football players, here's high school running back Bella Rasmussen. Now this, I think. What? Was that the female? I think she is high the school, first high school running back. Yeah, she twice made history in 2022 as the first female high school football player to score two touchdowns in a game, as well as the first to sign uh, a name, image, and likeness deal. Huh. These feats earned her acclaim as she made appearances on national TV shows, Access Hollywood, and The Today Show. A varsity athlete for two years, Rasmussen left the door open to continue her playing career in college. Awesome. There we go. She uh, should be on Teen Wolf. Yeah. Had an extra bad year, but still loved Tim Anderson. Yeah, he uh, had an extra. Uh, Tim him, Glass Jaw him Anderson. Him standing up to fight and then getting knocked out, <laughs> going down with his fists up like it's UFC. <laughs> now, now we have two hits here. Okay. We want to open a good, uh, you want to see, that? we're running out of time, we'll do it. Uh, <laughs> jet ski! Yay! Oh, how the fuck did we get that? How awesome is that? We're getting We'll send it off to get it graded. Woo! As a matter of fact, why don't you just put that in a... Put it, oh, put my it God. That's us. Oh, no, that is it. us. Put it, put it, sleeve it and then put it in the card Oh, saver. my God. I got to get this graded. Very cool. And then <laughs> while we're at it, <laughs> another yeah. another huge star okay. of reality TV, Tom Sandoval. No way! Boo! Boo! Everybody's least favorite person, Tom Sandoval. They put him on an album. Ginter card? Yeah, he gets all you gotta so do. So he is. gets a card and you don't. You Listen, could I, get should, Alan or Ginter on the phone. I'm we ready. We should PSA grade second of all. I don't have a cover Ugh. band. What do you want from me? Yeah. Right, I mean, that, you though. don't I keep. Mean, to be fair, so does he hardly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can pay anybody to do anything. All right. Should we crack up this bad boy? Let's do it. Basketball time. Okay. So explain what this is. So this is a hit parade. Hit parade does this thing where they sign, they have a bunch of product. In this case, it's basketballs. They get them signed by professional yeah. players, and then they uh, you get blind boxes essentially like this. So it could be something like worth a lot. Like okay. I said, uh -huh. uh, maybe it's a Zion Williamson basketball, uh -huh. or maybe it's Reggie Bullock. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. No, if it's Reggie Bullock. He's currently so guys, a free we'll agent back. and looking for a team. We'll be back next week. We'll have more cards to open, more fan mail, more of the stuff we showed today. But this will do it for us. I'm really excited for what this is. We got the jet ski. Big hit. We did get the jet ski. Now we just need the Falcon. What if the ball is signed by a Falcon? What if we had like a Jack Hanna style thing come here and someone just like showed us animals, like, but we didn't know what it was. I mean, that's pretty exciting. Wouldn't Definitely that be fun? not in the spirit of what the show is, but But I'm it's into like a it. secret. Like, you don't know what's <laughs> in the box. What if you don't know animals? what the animal is. Okay. Wow, they really... What if it's not a basketball, it's just a paper mache Then I've been duped. <laughs> All right, here we go. <gasps> okay. We have autographed basketball. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. From... <laughs> it's orange. I mean, where are you going to be able... You're not going to be able to know that? who it is. Uh, it's Adam going... Silver. What? Okay, we have. It's got to be in the box, of, like a like a certificate or something. How am I supposed to know who that is? <gasps> oh my God, I know what it is. What? Because there's a name in here. What do you think it is? Sorry, now we have like Can four we seconds. Show show it again. I, I don't know who it is. I can't read it. I don't know. Wh I... Wimby. Chewy. Chewy. Shaquille O'Neal. 
<laughs> Are you serious? No way! Hey, Are you what? serious? Yo, Neo. We got Shaq! <laughs> what? Where's that Shaq? Shaq! I, got, I gotta dunk the out. basketball! <laughs> hit, him, hit him, do it! It's, that's how I beat Shaq! We got the big Aristotle. Wow. Oh my God, that's awesome. Shaquille O'Neal. I have an, I love, Sha I've loved him my entire that's life. That's awesome. I, oh, that's amazing. Dude, this episode rules. My dad wow. got the music. This Shaq is the best. Was. We got Jesky and Shaq. This has been a Shaq. great episode. And Tom Sandoval. What? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We'll leave it right there. Wow. Dang. Shaquille O'Neal autographed basketball. Now wow. That's wow. Hit and a half face, right pod. there. Pod.com slash first to subscribe this Friday. Let's play. We're taking it over. Our very first let's play. It's Worms. And then on Monday, next Monday, Fuck Face, face. Off is go. It's happening. But go to fuckfacepod.com slash first now to sign up. Shaq basketball. Shaqsketball. Shaq is back, baby. Wow. Look out for the Shaq attack. This that's is great. Dang. That, that's a fucking hit. Yep. Well, go listen to the podcast. Thank you very much. Bye. That's fucking crazy. Jet Dude. ski. Jet Jack, ski. Shaq. Tom Sandoval. We gotta manifest some more. Dude, we are back with that. Woo. Back with Shaq. Way to go, back Gracie. Back with Shaq. Great Dang. job, Gracie. Did you buy this? <laughs>